What's going on, YouTube? It's Lewis of the Way It Kicks channel back again with you for another episode. And man, man, oh man, oh man. So we went live yesterday for the selection of the $100, 100 subscriber giveaway. And let me know if you actually want me to go live with you guys. I mean, I personally enjoyed it. I would love to interact with you more, but let me know in the comments if you want me to do more lives for more in real time interaction, guys. But I was able to select not only one winner, but we did two winners because the program that I was using would only allow up to five videos. So because of that, I did a second pull. Happy to report both winners have received their prizes. And so now we are on the road to the next milestone, but we are so close to that 500 subscriber mark that I could easily just do that. But let's push it a little further. Let's do 600 subscribers. So when we get to 600 subscribers, I will be doing another giveaway, guys. I'm not gonna tell you what it is as of right now. You'll just find out once we get there. So if you've got friends that are into wearing their kicks, if you got family that are into the same thing, send them on over here and let's ring this channel up, guys, and continue to make it grow. All right, so today on the Sneakers app, we got the fall preview from Jordan Brand, and that's the point of this video today. So let's go ahead and start reviewing the shoes that we saw on the live. And first up is the Jordan 1 UNC Blue Toes. Retail price on these is $180, and this is a must cop for me. Let me tell you, I definitely want these. I think that these are, whew, they are a nice, nice shoe. And I believe they are coming in full family sizing. So this is definitely part of my top must cop list. Now the next shoe they showed is a pair of Jordan 3s and these are the Jordan 3 or with Browns, otherwise known as the Mochas. The retail on these is $200 and I, I like these. I like the way these look. I think that I want to get them in hand to really make a sound decision, but I love the three silhouette. So I think this is definitely on the list of cops for me as well. Let me know what you think. Now, I believe this next shoe they said was dropping in July as well. And that is the Jordan 1 Low Black Toes. Now, this is a low version of a high that came out several years ago. The retail on these is $140 and it comes with an extra set of laces as well. Now, I, I personally, I like them, but I don't know how hard I'm gonna go after them. If I can get them in hand and bring you guys a review, I definitely will do so, but they're not a must cop in my book. Now, next up, we have the Jordan 12 Field Purple, otherwise known as the Lakers. And these are okay. These are pretty nice. I like 12s. I don't know if I really want this particular color blocking on my 12s, but I do like the gold accents on there that go along with the theme of being the Los Angeles Lakers. But I don't know if these are on the list of must cops for me either, but hey, you may like them. And if you want them, I'm sure you'll be able to cop, no problem. Now, next up is a very, very popular shoe, and that is the Jordan 1 Palominos. Now, a lot of people are looking at these as a must cop because they weren't able to get a pair of Mocha 1s. And if you know right now, a pair of Mocha 1s goes for a pretty penny on the resale market. So a lot of people are looking at these guys as the next best thing. Should be a ton of stock for these. Retail price on them is $180. And as of right now, they're pretty much supposed to be in all retail stores. So it shouldn't be that hard of a cop, but they may be garnering a little bit of resale value early on. So a lot of people are gonna go after them. It may be kind of tough, but stay tuned for when I have more information, I will let you know so you can try to cop them for retail. Now also in the fall, we're getting a sneaker that nobody actually knew about, and that is the women's Jordan 4 Frozen Moments. Now this is a wild looking shoe. Not wild as in bad, but wild as in, wow, these are really nice. I'm kind of jealous that they're not gonna come in extended sizing. 
with the silver accents on there and then that the way the gray is all over the sneaker i think it definitely is a nice nice shoe now that retail price point on there is pretty nice as well at 225 dollars and i must say i can't really bulk that much at the price because of the quality it looks like that sneaker is going to be getting it definitely definitely took their time with this one at least right now because we may get it and then there's glue stains and all types of problems all over them but in any case this is going to be a sneaker i go ahead and cop for my fiance and bring you guys in here and review stay tuned for when i do have them now next up on the list is a Jordan 7 that we had gotten back in 2006 and now they're re-releasing in 2023. That's the Jordan 7 Chambrays. Now the retail on these is $200. I really like the blue accents that are all over the shoe, especially on the midsole there and the tongue. I don't know though if this is on the must cop list. I don't believe it's going to be, but if you guys want me to bring you an in-hand review on that, let me know in the comments and I'll definitely see about making it happen. Now, releasing in September, we have the women's Jordan 1 Praline. Now, these look okay. They got like a peachy looking color to them. I don't know how I feel about those satin laces. Now, if you don't like them, ladies, there will be an extra set of laces that comes in the box and they'll be white. I think that'll look way better on the shoe. But hey, guess what? They're not for me. They're for you ladies and now uh, there may be some men out there who go ahead and pick these up there's nothing you can really do about that but they're not going to be flying off the shelves because men want them that bad in any case ladies if you want these it should be an easy cop retail price on them is 180 bucks and look out for them come september now next up on the list is a silhouette that doesn't get a ton of love and that's the jordan 2 unc lows now these are supposed to be dropping sometime in july they actually look pretty clean i'm not sure if they're on my must cop list either but they might make it in depending on how i feel about it once july finally gets here if you're looking to grab that sneaker more than likely that should be somewhat available but there is some demand out there for the shoe so if you have an opportunity to get them don't sit and wait just grab them now next up this silhouette has been getting a lot of love from nike and we're talking about the jordan one low atmosphere gray now the retail on these is 140 dollars and it's due to drop early september now i don't know how i really feel about these i do have a pair of jordan one high stealths which is what this sneaker color blocking actually reminds me of I don't know, again, if they're on the must cop list, but once again, Nike is using that aged midsole on these, and I don't know, man. I think they're using it maybe a little too much, but ask me when we get closer to September whether or not I'm gonna end up changing my mind because it could always happen. Now, here's a sneaker that definitely gets no love, but I am definitely excited for these to be dropping, and that is the Jordan 8 playoffs now they debuted back during the 1993 playoffs that's when mike first wore them and now we're getting them here in 2023 i am super excited for these the retail on them is 210 dollars and they're supposed to be dropping this coming september but i do have a surprise for you guys when it comes to this sneaker you'll just have to stay tuned to the channel all right, next up on the list, dropping in July, it is the women's Air Jordan 1 UNC to Chicago. Now the retail on these is $140. And this is a low version of a hide that we had gotten several years ago. Well, at least the ladies got them several years ago because they did not come in extended sizing and neither will these. This is a definitely a hot shoe and I like the unique touch they gave them with the insole on one shoe being red and the other being blue. I really feel like the details on these make these a must cop for the ladies out there. And I will definitely be helping my fiance to grab a pair and bring you guys a review. All right, here's a sneaker that's also dropping in September that I'm really excited for. And that is the Jordan 5 burgundies now these look like a glass of fine wine and at that 225 dollar price point it'd be the most expensive bottle of wine i ever had guys in any case this shoe dropped before in 2006 so now 17 years later we're getting a re-release of the shoe i do wish that they gave 
the outsole and the side netting, that aged look, you know, more of that browning look because I think it would look better that way, but you know what, over time I'm gonna get that anyway. Now, next up is a sneaker dropping in August, and that is the Jordan 4 Fire Reds. Now, initial mock-up photos, for whatever reason, showed the red to be somewhat of that orange hue, and I didn't really like it. But today, they explained it is the same color match as the Fire Red 3s, and knowing that, and now seeing what the sneaker is supposed to look like, I'm definitely moving over towards the, I'm gonna cop these side instead of I'm gonna let them go. And I think as we get closer, there are gonna be more people who actually trend that way as well. Retail price on these is $210 and they come in full family sizing. Be ready for those if you're trying to get them. All right, so that is the full list that is supposed to be dropping in between July to September. Let me know what you think about it. Is there anything on there that you plan on copping? Are you gonna pass? on a bunch of shoes. What do you have your eye on, guys? I think most of these sneakers are gonna be somewhat easy to cop for the most part. There is a few in there I believe may be a little harder to get, but with a little bit of footwork, some time and patience, I'm sure you'll be able to cop them. Well, in any case, guys, this is also the Way Your Kicks channel reminding you that every day's a great day. Wear your kicks.